what's going on guys welcome back today we're doing baby tudo or not tudo which is part of hack the box oasp top 10 track this challenge is kind of um let me call it between easy and intermediate level so what we're going to do we're going to explore this site under sana which works do a bit of inspection on the source code and decide what is the path of the attack will be so if we spawn the machine and we put out to the page, as you can see, we get this page, Tudo or not Tudo. And as you can see, whatever we write here, let me turn this off. It is off. So Tudo 4, enter Tudo 5, Tudo 6. So beside every entry on the right side, we get the option or we get two options. The first one is complete. The other one is delete, which indicates that this could be some sort of a to-do to -do list where we get the option to complete the task or delete the task if we click on complete here and we click on delete here for example it's not responding now for some reason but let's refresh the page Okay, it's not working now. Refresh one more time. Okay, so these are the tasks that I have entered to the three and four. The other one was, um, as you can see, the, the other ones were deleted because we actually deleted them. And these are marked as completed, as you can see. If we refresh one more time, so basically it's a to-do list um, web page so we're wondering here what is the what's happening in the background so what's the function that's taking care of all of that so if you click on view page source and we see here some calls to css style sheets we don't want these we're not interested in the css here and as you can see here in the form there is a post request made whenever we actually enter an input as you can see we have the first input is the task and then we have secret key and that's the value so as you can see here there is um i'm gonna call it maybe information disclosure where the secret is hidden the secret accompanies all of the inputs we enter as task and then we have a call to the script here main and then we have this comment don't use get status all until we get the verify integrity patched so this is a hint to inspect the verify integrity function in the main javascript because it's not patched so there must be a weakness in it and then we have constant update equal get tasks and that's the user randomly generated user i guess this is the user that is entering the tasks here so it changes as per the browser or as per the session and then we have an update to update the task and then we have interval that updates the task or the task every three seconds so what do we have here we have a script javascript here that is taking the user input as post request at the same time or simultaneously it is adding the secret value associated with the user session and then it updates the tasks for the user and then every three seconds it also updates the tasks okay so let's take a look at the main.js so that's the main javascript file if we scroll down okay so in we have two variables constant variables one is complete and other is delete and if you remember here we have the complete and delete which are options we can play with if we want to mark the task as done or not done or maybe delete the task altogether so what controls these two options 
is these two variables the first one when we click on complete there is a call made to this URL API complete and here it attaches the task ID the secret that we saw earlier and this is get request the same happens when we click on delete okay let's scroll down and here is other variable constant variable get tasks and this is also making a call to this URL API dash list dash endpoint and is also accompanied by the secret scrolling all the way down that's it okay so what to do now what we're going to do here we're going to play with this so we want to find out what is behind this API list endpoint so if you're able to list all of the endpoints right we may be able to list all of the tasks that the current user is able to access so the current user here let's click on view page source is this user okay now this user we want to find out how many endpoints they can access because when because when they access specific endpoints they are able to display specific tasks as long as we provide the secret when the secret changes it's not going to work so every user like this one has an attached secret okay the secret accompanies the user or the secret actually accompanies all of the requests that this user makes to the endpoints to be able to retrieve the tasks okay now here if the quest if the user has privileges or high privileges that we are not aware of they may be able to list all of the tasks or tasks which are not assigned to them now to be to find that or to find out if this is the case we have to guess all of the endpoints that's the, that this user is able to access so here we are in a situation where we need to use w fuzz we need to do fuzzing okay to do fuzzing we have to use w fuzz or w fuzz let's see i think we have a problem in the internet let's make sure okay so my internet is working all right fine scrolling back or scrolling down let's now use w fuzz before using w fuzz we have to find out what are the required parameters to put in the request the first thing we have to put in the request is the secret without secret we will not be able to list, list all of the endpoints okay so let's go ahead and initiate a request and with Perfect Suite, we'll be able to see all the required parameters. Maybe there are some cookies, maybe there are some tokens that we need to um, attach to the WFS command in order to make it work. Okay, so let's add a task to the, let's say, five. Okay, so we have, we have to turn this on to the six. Let's take a look. Okay, so it's a post request. This is the path API add, and we have this session ID. So this is another parameter we have to add to the WFS command. Okay, let's copy that. Go back here to the command line, open a new tab, and use WFS dash W for word list. Wait. Sec lists. And under sec list, let's see discovery, web content. And since we are enumerating or fuzzing APIs, let's go back and talk about this for a little bit. So here, this is the path, okay, slash API, slash list, slash endpoint. We are fuzzing endpoints, which means we are fuzzing APIs. 
which means we're gonna have to go back here to the command and choose API okay and then we use let's see what word list we have objects lowercase uppercase API endpoints let's use API endpoints okay now this is the word list now let's choose the path or the URL so let's take the full URL from here go back okay so slash API slash list slash fuzz now this is the place or the location where we will need to insert the payloads from the word list this location here which will be occupied by the payloads from the word list represents the actual APIs or the actual endpoints as you can see here now given that this is clear we're going to complete the path and add the session or the secret remember we have a secret here so secret equal let's take the secret from here starts with e and ends with nine okay now it's time to add the cookie so we say cookie and let's copy all of this one at a time okay perfect and let's start fuzzing naturally we will receive some non-valid endpoints we're gonna take a look at the codes or the number of characters and exclude them so for 404 we have 22 so we're gonna exclude the 22 number of where the number of characters equal to 22 we're going to exclude all of these responses since they correspond to 404 not found page dash dash 22 let's see and there are no valid responses okay now it's time to go back and modify or choose different word list of APIs. So we choose API endpoints. We're going to choose objects this time. Looks like we don't have any response. LS CD or LS uh, list discovery web content api objects so indeed we have a word list with objects as a name let's cancel this filter and see if we get any response so indeed we have 404 responses with 22 as the number of characters so let's exclude that one more time dash dash hh22 and hopefully this will give us some results as you can see right now we have 403 as the response code and the number of characters happen to be 24 so let's exclude the number of characters or let's exclude the responses where the number of characters equals to 24 and we shall receive a different response as you can see we have all one endpoint named all and the other endpoint named cgi-pin so if we try to access one of these here say api list all request is not allowed so what we're going to do here we're going to attach the secret so this is the secret that's the complete url that's how we should access the endpoint named all so we have to attach this to be able to view that 
let's see now and indeed we are able to see all of the yeah as you can see we can see all of the tasks for all of the users different users as you can see including the admin and as you can see one of the tasks entered by the admin represent the flag so this is it, guys it's a matter of a bit of enumeration and a bit of fuzzing so submit the flag and that's it guys i hope you like that and i will see you in the next video